See Boostmobile.com for details. Will County's News Talk Sports. 1340 WJOL. 740 Slocum in the morning. This is 1340 WJOL. Welcome into Monday. Recovery Monday for those of us that were <laughs> involved with the Taste of Joliet. Uh, an incredible weekend. Uh, we shift gears, though, and, and talk now uh, to our friends at Joliet Junior College. The president is Dr. Klein Namuo, and he joins us live in our WJOL studios. Good morning, sir. Nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. All righty, Scott. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, as we were talking during the break, welcome back from the Great American Road Trip. I haven't had a chance to see you since then. And, mm-hmm. wow, what a weekend. I'm sorry. I, um, I wasn't able to be there. I was out of state, but boy, what an exciting weekend! It Taste is. of Joliet, yeah, a lot, lot going on. Road trip was great. Taste of Joliet, both both exhausting, but both uh, provided a lot of great memories for sure. So, congratulations! You are five days away from your first anniversary. You took over appreciate July that. one last year. I appreciate that. I, I, you know, the college community, the Joliet community, Will County. Um, everyone's been so welcoming. I mean, this has been such an amazing experience being president, the 10th president of the nation's very first community college. It remains an honor, and I'm so thrilled about the future for JJC, and that's part of what I'm here to talk about today. Absolutely. I got a press release that you are organizing an exploratory committee for expansion into Grundy County. Now, you already have a presence there uh, with Morris High School and the Morris Education Center. Um, that provides a lot of services already, but we're thinking big picture now a little bit, aren't we? Absolutely. So, you know, as you referenced, we do have a presence out in Grundy through the Morris Education Center. You know, I learned very early on that JJC, you know, plays a special role, um, holds a special place in the communities. In the seven counties we serve, but I recognized very early on that we could do more in Grundy County specifically, considering all of the activities in and around Grundy and Morris, Procter & Gamble's new Greater Chicago Fulfillment Center, a $1.3 million Mm state-of-the-art innovative fulfillment center, Costco's doubling its footprint, Greater Joliet Area YMCA is partnering with Morris Hospital to build a new YMCA out there. So you take all of this and actually the growing high school vocational population, it became very clear to me that there's a huge opportunity for JJC to pursue what an increased footprint might look like to better serve the communities in and around Morris, in and around Grundy County. The student demographic information. Let's talk a little bit about that. In in Grundy County, I know Morris well. I'm out Morris two, three times a week. It is its own economy. It is. It's not a huge town. Town of about, what, 20, 22,000 people, give or take. But it serves as... You know, the, the the economy for a lot of small towns, and there is a large daytime population there. There are a lot of young people there that live around Morris. So the, the, the student population would be there as well as the adult population. Well, certainly. That's certainly what we're seeing. Um, you know, JJC is a comprehensive community college. And while the vast majority of our operations are on our credit side, We've got a very robust non-credit side as well. But let me go back to your question in terms of Grundy County, its demographics, the student population, and kind of what led us to this strategic direction. Population grew in Grundy County, uh, fourth out of the 102 counties in the state of Illinois. There's a high median household income as well, ninth out of 102 Illinois counties. And so we're seeing... You know, some some really positive um, demographic shifts there. And I, I would highlight two, really. Number one, all of the industries I've referenced. Mm-hmm. There's a workforce of about 25,000. I think Morris and Grundy County is about 50,000. But we're seeing a lot of industry exploring moves into Grundy County, not to... Me- Not to reference just uh, all of the ones I referenced earlier. What we're also seeing, though, is some growth in the high school population. The Grundy Area Vocational Center, for example, historically has served hundreds of students. They're expected to serve 1,000 students over the next few years. And, of course, 
JJC has strategic strengths in career technical occupation, career technical education, rather. That's something that I think we can really partner with Grundy Area Vocational Center to do more for that community. So where are you right now in exploration? This stage of the exploration, you are where? So great question. On May 10th, we announced the official exploratory committee for what expansion in Grundy County might look like to include the mayor of Morris, representatives from Procter & Gamble, Tom Dome with the Morris Hospital, in addition to many other people, both in the community, in and around Grundy County and JJC. Now, this committee has met twice. They'll meet every other week for the next few months. And I've charged the group with bringing back three options by October 1st to determine what an increased footprint in Grundy County in the city of Morris might look like. I'm really excited about this, Scott. Mm -hmm. That sounds like it. Now, those three options could be three completely different options. They could be something large, something smaller, something in between. How detailed are these options going to be? Or are they going to be more general? So, great question. They're going to be detailed. So, the group last week looked at some very specific locations, took a tour managed by the city of Morris in and around uh, Morris and Grundy County. And they're looking at different locations and different sites. And my hope, my expectation is that they bring back three specific options. And then we'll kind of get the architects going to determine, you know, what that site might look like. But, But let me also be clear, this is largely going to be driven by the needs of the communities in and around Grundy County. We won't just build a building to build a building. My charge to this group is whatever commitment we make, let's fill the facility. Potentially, I'm envisioning what you have in Romeoville. I mean, we're not going to build another huge campus like right. Cobalt Road. Right. That, that's your flagship, and that right. would not be fiscally responsible. But something like you have in Romeoville, which is very popular, would work wonderfully. You know, shout out to the Romeoville campus and everyone there who makes that facility great. It's really a, a campus that has found its identity in allied health and cybersecurity and technology and some emerging technologies I'm going to let the group do its work, and mm-hmm. I'm going to let the exploratory committee determine what makes sense for the Grundy County community. We've got fantastic facilities on the main campus. We've got fantastic fantastic facilities out in Romeoville. We're going to do what makes sense for Grundy County. It just became very clear to me that considering all of the activities and energy an economic development that's happening in Grundy County that JJC could do more. Yeah, I was talking to Nancy Norton Ammer from Grundy Absolutely. County uh, the other night at an event in Morris, and she's just, her, her head spinning. There's so many different things in terms of power plants being considered, uh, other things that are being brought online, things that have not even been announced yet. And then, of course, you have the big agricultural presence out that way as well. Absolutely. And, and of course, that's a strategic strength for JJC. 80% of our agriculture students come from out of district. So think about that. From Southern Illinois, from Central Illinois, all of those students recognize that JJC's ag program is top notch. So, yes, absolutely. Considering all of those things, JJC will, can and will do more for the Grundy County community. Okay. Looking back over your first year thoughts so first of all uh just <laughs> a huge shout out oh gosh okay. <laughs> yeah um uh, look joliet's an amazing place jjc is an incredible institution i'm just deeply honored to serve as the 10th president again of the nation's very first community college and pause for dramatic effect the best community college <laughs> you know we're leading the way in so many different areas in my first year i've had an opportunity to launch launch the 12 by 12 by 12 initiative 12 college credits by the end of 12th grade paying 12 dollars a credit a game-changing dual credit initiative that's going to impact tens of thousands of lives over the life of the initiative and now looking out west and expanding into grundy county aggressively the future's bright for JJC, Scott, and thank you for all your support of JJC and what we do. Didn't take long to get uh, thrown right into it, did it? 
<laughs> you got it. All right. You got it. Dr. Klein, Namua, thank you very much, sir. It's nice to see you. Thank you, Scott. Uh, we'll continue to follow the story. We'll wait until October to see what the Exploratory Committee comes up with. But you have some good minds on that uh, board, and I'm sure we'll get some really good options and some ideas.